go. Once again, Road to Radcon, the book. It's a pretty fun book. The writing is like it's on crack. <laughs> I mean, kind of makes sense because the main guy who orchestrated this is on crack. You can see the crack pipe. It's a very fun read, though it is very short. Only about five chapters, I believe. More like a time capsule type of thing. Pretty funny, I'd say. It may had made me laugh quite a bit at the absurd writing and tangents it goes off onto. Some real silly things pop off and uh, pretty good. My only criticism would be I would want a longer book, but for what type of story it is, it is about the right amount of length, I guess. I'm just saying there is potential for a longer story. Not quite in the same vein, but with maybe similar themes of absurd humor paired with a weird narrative and subversions. But if I had to rate the book, I think it's... I enjoy it more than average, I'd say. So I'd give it a solid to a light 7. Quite fun to read, but it doesn't really make you think. So that's another thing I could say. You can't just have a work would have higher merit if it also makes you question things. It isn't quite to that level of writing, but to be fair to Mr. person who wrote this was Digibro, but now it's Beatrice. Still has Digibro on the, on the back. Either way, like Beatrice slash Digibro slash Digini. It's a good writing, writing attempt. It's quite different. I mean, Beatrice has written more like review style stuff compared to stories. So as a, one of our first attempts, I'd say it's pretty busted. You can definitely tell that the last chapter is written by someone else because the paragraphs are a bit wordier and it kind of loses its insanity. Like there are some paragraphs here that are like, see this, this is very Ben Sainty. I've had to guess how he writes. Another thing I'd love would be if there was more of this brilliant art. I love the art in this. And if we had some, I don't know, maybe colored panels would be cool too. Yeah, that's, that's all I have to really say. Short review, but it's a short book. Not much to talk about. I don't want to spoil anything because most of its um, entertainment value is through a first time read and the surprising wacky things that happen but i do have to say this book light spoilers might be a bit dated i guess it's it's basically functioning as a time capsule which makes sense narratively speaking but still there are some things in here that parallel a few other things in real life that i think may have been slightly better if it didn't have that to make this evergreen but obviously it's not trying to be anything like that i presume still i feel like certain things could be better crafted in this story but yeah bye <laughs>